the five biggest global trends. In this video, I want to look at the five biggest global trends every business needs to be ready for right now. I cover each of these trends in more detail in my book, Business Trends in Practice, in which I outline the 25 plus trends that are redefining organizations, including technology and consumer trends. But let's look at the five global shifts I'm seeing at the moment. A changing relationship with our planet. As humans, we have basically exploited our planet. We've pumped greenhouse gases into the atmosphere from burning fossil fuels. We've polluted our oceans with plastic, destroyed habitats and reduced biodiversity. As a result, we are already seeing things like abnormal weather patterns. We've had the apocalyptic floods in Germany, in New York, across China, and record temperatures in Moscow, wildfires in Greece, and hurricanes and tropical storms all over the world. On top of that, our world population is growing which leads to increasing concerns around food security, migration, and so on. According to estimates, um, we have to increase food production by between 26% and 68% by 2050. And that's a big increase for an already struggling planet. I believe the emerging climate disaster is the biggest challenge humanity has ever faced. And I'm not alone. According to Ipsos, globally, 73% of people agree that we are on course for a climate disaster. With the global majority agreeing that the world is facing a huge crisis, we can expect consumers to gravitate towards more sustainable options. And that means your organization must do everything it can to maximize its green credentials, rethinking your products, creating a sustainable supply chain and eliminating emissions and waste in your business operations. Shifts in economic and political power. In a nutshell, by 2050, the list of the most economically and, power and politically powerful countries in the world will look very different to today. China's economy, for example, is now predicted to overtake the United States by 2028, which is five years earlier than previously thought. And the combined economic power of the E7 economies, which is China, India, Brazil, Mexico, Russia, Indonesia and Turkey, could be double that of the G7, the United States, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan and the United Kingdom, by 2040. As economic power shifts, it will become more expensive to outsource to countries like India and China. At the same time, these economies could become strong markets for products and services. And this is something businesses will have to plan for right now. Growing divergence and polarization. There have been some notable examples of political fragmentation and growing divergence in recent years. Brexit is one example. Then we've had President Trump withdrawing the US from the Paris Agreement on Climate Mitigation and even threatening to leave NATO. Um, we are also seeing a technology trade war between the US and China where they have banned Huawei and China basically stops all artificial intelligence related exports to the US. And then we've had Russia announcing that it is now able to completely unplug from the rest of the world's internet and operate its own independent internet. So in short, after decades of countries growing closer together, there are signs that they are beginning to consciously uncouple. And COVID-19 has exacerbated this further with countries focusing on their domestic problems. This growing divergence may mean companies find themselves locked out of certain markets and means relying on single overseas market is, markets is a high risk strategy. Shifting demographics. The global population in 2050 
or even in 2030 will look very different from how it looks today. That's because the population is growing globally. What's more, populations are getting older, the middle class is growing and people are increasingly living in urban areas. As an example, the number of mega cities, those classified by the UN as cities with 10 million or more inhabitants, is also on the rise. By 2030, there will be 43 mega cities, which is up from 33 in 2018. Clearly, the business opportunities around these shifting demographics are huge. Social, cultural and workplace shifts. The workplace demographic is also shifting significantly. The number of Gen Zers and Millennials in the workplace is on the rise and baby boomers are retiring. And with this changing workplace come changing expectations and priorities. As an example, 65% of people want to work for, for an organization uh, with a powerful social conscience. How we work is changing too. One in five global employees now work remotely, at least some of the time. And the coronavirus pandemic will only accelerate this work from anywhere culture. Organizational structures will become more fluid and more people will expect to float between teams, roles and employers. The days of the job for life are well and truly gone and more people will work in the gig economy as freelancers and free agents. All employers must therefore assess their working practices to see whether they are offering this changing workforce the working environment they want and expect. One where people have greater flexibility, a better work-life balance and a meaningful connection with the brands they work for. These five global trends represent very real opportunities and risks for all businesses. To learn more about these and other future trends, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my website and have a look at my book Business Trends in Practice, the 25 plus trends that are redefining organizations, which is packed with real world examples and cuts through the hype to present the key trends that will shape the business of the future.